Buongiorno, welcome back connected in Murano Island. Uh, my name is Lorenzo, probably some of you already know me. I am a part of the new Murano Gallery, that's where we are. Today we are uh, in one of the most iconic room of this gallery. Uh, what several customer and visitor call the aquarium, in effect, is the entry. And uh, since we open this gallery, always we have display the beautiful sculpture made by the Familia Rosini of the studio Rosini. In effect, that's what we are talking about today. I'm very proud to talk about uh, of these uh, families because it's one of the most important of the last 60 years talking about glass sculpture and uh, give a, a new interpret interpretation of uh, those uh, pieces because they are linked to the Chalcedonia technique. That's why this link uh, gives the opportunity to the Familia Rosin before uh, with Loredano and then uh, Dino continued the tradition to become famous worldwide and permit them to exhibit their pieces in uh, different countries. So, uh, before to talking about of the single sculpture, uh, we're going to give you a short explanation about the Chalcedonia technique. Chalcedonia is uh, a particular technique created in the mid-15 by Angelo Barovier and uh, then, uh, unfortunately, with the fall uh, of the Venetian Republic, we lost the secret of this uh, production, rediscovered in the 1854 by Lorenzo Radi. Uh, but then, a very uh, big appointment was in the 1977, when Loredano Nosin, working with his brother Dino, uh, gave a new vision, a new interpretation of this uh, color, give you a modern interpretation with the different reflection, shade and, mar and marking. In effect, the Chalcedonia is a reaction that uh, we obtain using a certain quantity of silver nitrate, but uh, it's not possible to control the reaction. That's why you have different shade and marking that runs from yellow, blue, uh, violet and so on. But we can uh, directly talk about uh, one of the most important pieces made by Dino Rosin, which is the five elements made in a limited edition, but the connection with the Chalcedonia give uh, a characteristic of unicity for the reason that uh, I already explained to you. Look, you have uh, blue, green, yellow shade. Isn't it amazing? We have even a version uh, of the five elements, just one element. If you go with the camera on my right side, we can appreciate in the details the different layers. Inside you have the bubbler and then involved by the different layers with the Chalcedonia. The particularity of the Chalcedonia, as you can see, is that uh, uh, seems moving. If you move around the piece made in Chalcedonia, give uh, to you this feeling. Now we're talking about uh, a figurative sculpture. So we have uh, Adonis and Aphrodite. Look at the energy of those pieces. Isn't it incredible? They speak by themselves. The last piece that uh, I would like to talk about is uh, in this corner, we have the chotel, it's a centerpiece, and here we can clearly appreciate the variety of the shade and the marking of the Chalcedonia. If we are looking from the top, look, a deep blue and a violet, absolutely stunning. The particularity of the pieces made by the studio Rosin is uh, this seal. The seal the master decides to put on the piece that uh, he judged almost perfect. Almost because we are talking about always pieces made by hand. So, 
if you like uh, this video thumbs up and share with friends and part and uh, then uh, you you can stay connected with us uh, with uh, other videos other format new if you want to have some more information about the Chalcedonia technique and the studio rosin please contact us so thank you very much and uh, see you soon with other video ciao